Okay, so uh, welcome to my uh, little demonstration here of uh, DCS Viper. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the new feature of the uh, DCS F16, which is the ground radar, which is matagal na to. Uh, ngayon lang na introduce because uh, basically the uh, F16 is still in early access. So you're seeing the ground radar uh, on the left MFD, which is this side. And it's uh, pointed now at steer point 2. There's actually an airport there in the middle of the cross over there. And the reason why this is important now that the air to ground radar is available now. Because um, even if there was a steer point, uh, I'll pause the simulation for a bit and I will explain something here. Uh, these are steer points, which is where the F-16 is supposed to fly, no? I skipped steer point 1, and steer point 2 is where the target is supposed to be. Now, if this was a real-world scenario, and um, intelligence has determined that uh, the, uh, the target will be in that location, in, that, in those coordinates, then we won't have to be worried about uh, the accuracy of the, of the bombs when we release them. We are actually carrying... Uh, JDAMs, by the way. So JDAMs are uh, guided by uh, GPS. So they actually know where to go exactly based on coordinates, no? The uh, north and east coordinates. The fins at the back of the bombs can be, uh, you know, controlled and steered and steer the bomb towards the target. So it's a precision uh, type of ordnance. However, what if intelligence was totally wrong? No? So for instance, in this particular case, the targets are... Uh, uy, hindi nag-load yung terrain. Ayan. Let's say merong top secret, uh, hindi naman to top secret, but there are two important hind uh, helicopters. Originally, Sabi ng intelligence, they were to be located on the uh, western side of the airport, dito daw. Pero, mali sila kasi linipat. So, while the F-16 was already flying, in-update yung pilot that the uh, intelligence was incorrect and that he needs to find an area of the airport where there is a, uh, you know, like an aircraft parking apron where the two targets possibly are. Now, the explosion radius of uh, the Mark 84s, which basically what the JDAMs are, is quite large, no? So, even if we're not that accurate, if we can use the ground radar to find that part of the airport where we guess uh, where the new intelligence suggests these uh, uh, hinds are, then we will be uh, able to, sh to shift the predetermined uh in na SPI or the SP the sensor point of interest kasi yung SP kasi yung basis where the bombs will be going no on the map or on the ground so we can now adjust that SP based on our new data so but we need to use um, we we need to have a means to do that i mean we don't have like even if we had like an onboard map that we can put on our knee, uh, it would be very difficult to do that while we are flying an F-16. So we have to rely on something like a moving map display, but a moving map display that is interactive uh, can only be available if we have ground radar. And this is why the ground radar comes into play now. So we're going to unpause. So now I actually shifted to a, uh, uh, a much higher uh, zooming in but I had to steer my aircraft because there's that Doppler shift cone in front na hindi natin makita. So, dapat offset na konti yung flight path natin so that the radar off to one side can actually see our target area, which is in this case, Kobulete Airport. So, eto. I think the airport is now visible, but I need to enhance that image because it's very blurry. So, DBS-1 is an enhancement. Still blurry, so we will switch to DBS-2. So, in this button, OSB3, yung DBS2, and I'm going to narrow down my radar beam so that yung update natin faster, change to 30 degree. And then, I am actually going to zoom into that area alone. 
But as you can see, the one reason you might be wondering, bakit dun sa snapshot ko in my Facebook wall, the airport was quite sharp. That was because I was flying beneath the cloud cover. Ito kasi, I'm flying above the cloud cover. As you can see, the sky is overcast. Even though radar can penetrate clouds, syempre, ma-affect pa rin talaga yung visual quality no? ng, ng, ng pag-bounce ano pag back. And we're moving at a, quite a high speed. No? So the updates, hindi perfect ang radar. But at least we have a general idea. I'm now pointed. Ayan na. I now created a new SPI on that part of the airport which I believe based on new intelligence dyan daw malolocate yung target kasi originally it was supposed to be in this side of the airport pero minove daw nila yung ano yung enemy moved the hinds to that part and my confirmation would be the uh, coordinates no? 41 degrees 55, 41 degrees 52 that's roughly where that apron should be so I should be confident enough no? I should have enough confidence na uh, as long as the targets are within the blast radius of an MK-84, then I'm sure to damage them, if not totally destroy them. So now, since I have a new uh, a coordinate uh, or target for the JDAMs, I can now actually steer towards uh, you know, the uh, actual location. And so I'm now steering my F-16 to the uh, to the right and on the HUD you will also see uh, where that spot approximately is although there are clouds so therefore uh, ano to, yung, we just have to imagine na nandyan yung airport nandyan yung apron na yon containing the two hinds in that spot so that little box there indicates where that spot is and we're approaching it in about a minute so one minute pa this is the range for the JDAM. Normally, I could release now, pero my speed is quite low. If I was like traveling at 600 knots, okay na sana mag-release ngayon ng JDAM. But since we're flying quite slow and we're low, we're only at 16,000 feet. If I was flying at around 28,000 feet, then the range of our uh, JDAM glide would be considerable. Pero lower altitude and lower speed means we have to come closer to the target. So, yun lang yung, ano eh, yung, parang na, ito lang yung point na medyo yung JDAMs parang nawala yung point. Kasi the JDAM is supposed to be like a standoff weapon. So, dapat malayo ka at mataas ka to, to, to release it. But anyway, this is just for demo purposes. So, in about uh, 15 seconds, we will have a window of opportunity to release the JDAMs. And you will see this, uh, yeah, it's going down, this uh, bomb release uh, parang indicator here. When it reaches uh, the flight path marker, I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we will watch the release of the two JDAMs. Na sila. So the two JDAMs have been released, and the F-16 natin. And look, they're going to penetrate the cloud layer here. So quite a nice glide pa rin. So parang talagang guesswork, no? Uh, we have a solid overcast layer. And uh, the bombs are now headed towards the target. They're going to penetrate this cloud layer and pretty soon we will, the landscape will be revealed. And we will know whether we are headed towards the target. Ayan. So ayan na yung airport. And those are the bombs. And let's see if tatama ba. So let's look at our targets. So dito tayo magposition. Para maganda yung view natin. Para dramatic. Let's watch the bombs as they keep on falling down. And uh, coming na. Let's see kung maganda ba yung ano natin. Here come the bombs. Boom! There. Wasak. May isa pang bomb at the same spot. Both hinds have been damaged. So, ayan. Wasak na wasak. So, I think nag-work yung strategy natin. And therefore, uh, there you go. So, yeah. They both died. 
and a short demonstration of the uh, wonders of ground radar. That's all.